Hey guys, it's Chris. From the logic behind digging deep into the earth to the holes that have defined how deep we can dig and beyond. Join us as we explore what's the deepest hole we can possibly dig. Number nine, the desire to dig. Since the earliest days of humanity, we've learned simply and very easily that within the earth, under our feet, are things that we can use to survive. From animals we can eat, to water we can drink, to materials that we can refine into tools and items that can make our lives easier. We've gone to great lengths to go and make things under the surface of the earth known. Since those early days, we've created all sorts of underground entities, from basements and houses, to deep underground garages, to mines, wells, and more. But with each advance in technology comes the question of, how far can we truly go? How deep can we really dig? What's the deepest hole that humanity could ever make? The answer isn't as simple as you might think, and the holes we have made are numerous and terrifying in their scope, scale, and craft. Number 8. Murney Mine Murney Mine is a diamond mine and one of the largest excavations in history. In regards to the width of the mine, it's about 3,900 feet wide, and for its depth, it's 1,700 feet deep. That's huge for a diamond mine. The mine itself was started by the leader of the Soviet Union, Joseph Stalin, in 1955, and to this day, the mine is off limits to bystanders. Why's that? It's because though they're not digging for diamonds anymore, they are still digging in the hole. Specifically, they're digging underground. The Murney Mine has had many tall tales raised about it, including that if a helicopter gets too close to the mine, the winds of the hole will actually suck it in, which technically is possible if the various forces of nature are at the right point. Expectations are that the Murney Mine will continue to be operational for at least another 40 years, which is more than many other mines can expect. Number 7. Bingham County Mine Miners are known for making holes in the earth, but the Bingham County Mine definitely takes the cake as it was one of the biggest around. This copper mine has been used for over a century and it's still open to this day. Plus, to this day, it's the biggest copper mine in the world. The mine itself is two and a half miles wide and about three quarters of a mile deep at last count, and it's likely much bigger than that. That's why some people consider it the largest man-made excavation in the world. What's more, it's over 110 years old. Mining there began in 1906 and still goes on into 2019 and 2020. On a visual note, you can see the steps in the earth as the miners dug down, and it all leads to the center, which is still being mined. The Bingham County Mine has been dubbed by the great state of Utah, where the mine is located, as a national historic landmark. This mine has been productive in every way, including filling out about 15% of the U.S.'s copper needs every year just from this one mine. It also has gold, silver, and more within its grounds. Number 6. Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory There are many different ways to make holes into the Earth, but for the University of Wisconsin, they wanted to do a study of the Earth from a different perspective. They decided to go to Antarctica and drill a massive hole into the very ice caps of the Earth to see what's down there. Thus, the Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory was made. This may sound weird, but it's actually a viable practice. After all, the ice of the world's polar caps hides secrets and mysteries of the world that we can barely fathom. From remains of ancient creatures to actual viruses and diseases that were frozen in time, there's a lot to discover. Now, as for how they made this hole in the Antarctic, they were there during the summer season and used a literal hot water hose to melt the ice itself and dig its way down. It's not the easiest way to make a hole, but given their location, it might be the most clever. It took them seven years, but now the hole is about 8,000 feet deep. That's a mile and a half, give or take. And just as impressive is that they did this multiple times, as they do have multiple holes in the Antarctic. As for what they do now that they have the holes, they've put optic cables in them so they can see and give information to the people at the Abinson Scott South Pole Station. Number 5. Wooding Dean Water Well the idea of making a well for water is not new, and it's something that's been going on for a very long time in regards to human history. 
But what some people forget is that sometimes they had to go really deep in order to get the water, such as the Wooding Dean Water Well, which is the deepest water well in the world that was dug by hand. It is 1,285 feet deep and was made for a workhouse. It took four years to dig starting in 1858, and again, it was all done by hand. It's located just outside of the Newfield Hospital in Wooding Dean, near Brighton and Hove, England in the United Kingdom. Think about the time and effort that it took to make that well just to get water. Nowadays, it wouldn't be that hard to drill down there, but back then, not so much. Number four, Mpaneg Gold Mine. Mines all over the world dare to go deeper and deeper into the earth in order to get things like gold, silver, and valuable gems and minerals. But the Mpa Neg Gold Mine is one in South Africa that has the deepest shaft ever made by man. This is because the deepest mine shaft that this mine has is two and a half miles in depth from the surface to the shaft. To try and get from the top to the bottom takes over an hour via the carts they've made to ferry the miners. What's more, the temperatures down there can be scorching, including the rocks being 151 degrees Fahrenheit. The mine has been insulated to keep the miners safe, but being that deep in the earth can cause many problems that won't be easy to solve, including if a cave-in traps them. It would be incredibly difficult to save them given the distance rescuers would need to travel. Yet despite the dangers, they do continue to mine down there. There. Number 3. Cola Super Deep Borehole When you look at the entrance to the Cola Super Deep Borehole, you probably don't think much about it, because it honestly doesn't scream it's a borehole beneath this. The cover is only 9 inches wide, which again doesn't feel right for a giant hole entrance. You don't judge it, because that's just the cover of this borehole, and it hides a seven and a half mile hole that was dug in the 1970s. So why was this hole even made? It was a time of political turmoil, and while the space race was capturing the eyes of the world as man tried to set foot on the moon, another race was going on between the United States and the Soviet Union. Mainly, they wanted to see who could drill the deepest into the Earth. While not necessarily scientific in origin, it became a race that would help us understand more of what's inside of our planet. The race began in the 60s, and just like the countries themselves, where the US and Russia dug the holes was entirely different. The US did their drilling off the coast of Mexico near the Pacific Ocean, whereas the Soviet Union decided to dig in the Kola Peninsula. Even though the US had to bow out, the Soviets kept going, and going and going until they reached seven and a half miles beneath the Earth's crust. For the record, that's deeper than the deepest ocean on the planet. To be fair, this took a long time to fully make. The Soviets started drilling in 1970 and only stopped 24 years later in 1994. Want to guess the reason for that? Well, it's because the heat of where they were in the Earth made it so all the drill bits they had melted. Furthermore, the rock at that layer behaved weirdly, much different than scientists expected, and thus they were forced to stop. That being said, the samples that were found because of the drilling are invaluable, and have not only changed how certain scientists feel the Earth's core is constructed, but they're still being examined to this day. You can still see the borehole if you go to Russia, however, since 2008, it's been sealed shut, so you probably won't get to peek inside. Number 2. Z44 Chavo Well for many years, the Kola Super Deep Borehole was the deepest hole on Earth, and by some metrics, it still is. Mainly, it's the deepest borehole in the world, but in regards to the deepest artificial hole ever made by man, that happened in the 2000s via the Z44 Chavo Well. Yes, a well is the deepest hole ever made by man, and it was made by a consortium that was led by Exxon. Technically speaking, the record set by the Soviets was beaten in 2008 by this crew. However, in 2012, they went and topped that by going even deeper. By the end of 2017, the Z44 Chavo well had reached an astounding 49,000 feet below the Earth's surface. Potentially, this hole could go deeper. It just depends on the materials and the desire to dig the well deeper. Number 1. Can we reach the Earth's core? Humanity has tried many, many times to go beyond its limits and reach the Earth's core. Mainly because despite all of our theories and beliefs as to what's actually down there, we honestly don't know what is well and truly down there. Which is both frustrating and yet kind of curiosity building. The Kola Super Deep Borehole is the deepest borehole we've ever dug, but since 1994, there have been advances in technology that could potentially lead to even deeper holes being dug, as the Z44 Chavo well proved. 
The question now is, will humanity try and go fully into the Earth? Will we be able to reach the core like many want to? The fact that this hasn't happened yet as of mid-2020 is somewhat striking, but also potentially proof that while we can advance things in some ways, there's still obstacles that need to be dealt with. More than likely the biggest one being that we still need to be able to have drill bits that can withstand the incredible heat that is within the Earth as you approach its core. The Soviets were stopped because of temperatures not even reaching 400 degrees Fahrenheit, so imagine getting to thousands of degrees that is expected to be down there. There have been plans to go beyond what these holes have done and even reach the mantle of our planet, but nothing came of it. As many have proved, just because you start an expedition to drill a deep hole doesn't mean it'll happen quickly. So what's the deepest hole we can possibly dig? The answer is a stat, but not exactly a definitive answer. Because even though we've gone deep into the Earth, we have many, many miles to go before we can say that we've dug to the center of the Earth. And the challenges that await us on that path are numerous, dangerous, and potentially impassable. Thanks for watching. Do you think that we'll be able to go beyond the deepest holes we've made one day? If so, when? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to World List, and I'll see you next time on the channel.